Now the question is, what are the consequences of ignoring serial correlation? Now first is that what is the effect on the biasness and the consistency property of, uh, sorry, unbiasedness and consistency property of the OLS estimates. In this case, in case if we ignore serial correlation, OLS estimates will be still unbiased and they will be still consistent. And because they're still unbiased and they're still consistent, the forecasts which are going to be based upon these estimates will be still unbiased and they're still consistent. But the problem is that these, these estimates, these OLS estimates, will not have a minimum variance. They will not be efficient. They will be inefficient. And because they're inefficient, they're no longer blue. And because these estimates are no longer blue, because these estimates are inefficient, then the forecasts which are based upon these estimates will also be inefficient. In case if you look at the estimated variances of the regression coefficients, they will also be biased and, cons and inconsistent. And because these variances are biased and inconsistent, the test of hypothesis is going to be invalid. Okay. Now, because of the biasness nature, if you look at it, the serial correlation, one more thing which I want to tell you here is that uh, in case the model is going to contain the lagged dependent variable, that is, instead of the model yt, you, in case if you have, uh, sorry, your yt equals to alpha plus beta xt plus beta 2 yt minus 1 plus ut. If you have model like this in which your dependent variable, uh, a lagged dependent variable is also an independent variable here, then the consistency property is not going to hold. I'm not getting into the details of why it is so or how do you prove them. Fine. So, which you can, of course, read it from books at your level. So, but at the undergraduate class, I don't feel like that this is probably needed. Okay. So, and one more thing that in case if you have a positive serial correlation, if you have positive serial correlation, then that is XTs are increasing over time and standard errors will be underestimates will be underestimates of true values And this will mean that R square will be an overestimate and because of that T statistics, because your standard errors will be underestimated, T statistics will look like more significant.